What's going on guys? It's your boy Crazy Spartan here. And as always, before we get started off with the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been offering on the channel. Uh, this gameplay right here, let me tell you, this gameplay right here is probably one of the better ones you will ever, ever see on this channel. But I guarantee you, the lobby after this one, matter of fact, you know what? I will post the next gameplay after this one. Because, uh, yeah, I'll show you how skill-based matchmaker works. But regardless of that, this gameplay right here, I wasn't even taking it serious. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of the direction I wanted to go with this gameplay right here, okay? So, this gameplay right here was of me using the MP5 slash the uh, M72 box, right? Or is it the M82? The M72, right? So... This gameplay right here just shows you guys that if you don't take Cold War serious, you'll enjoy it. Watch this grenade kill. Bang! Got a grenade kill. Didn't even think about it, right? But anyways, this gameplay right here shows that if you don't take Cold War serious, you will have a whole lot more fun with it. Every single lobby should be like this one right here. I mean, there was competition, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't to the point where I was pub stomping, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I knew where everyone was, you know, I was playing aggressive, you know, I was having fun, right? That's how Call of Duty should be, okay? But that's currently not how it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I guarantee you the next gameplay that y'all will see after this one will not be of this caliber, okay? I'll probably go, hell, 9 and 22 is my next prediction. But, uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see, but kind of sort of the direction I wanted to go with this gameplay, like I said, was to, you know, tell you guys that... Uh, don't take Cold War serious. Like, don't go into every single game with the mindset of grinding out weapons. You know, because that's currently the mindset that I'm in. But honestly, after getting this gameplay for you guys, do y'all think I really care about getting DM Ultra? No, because the camo that y'all see on the M72 launcher is basically dark matter i mean it's zombie dark matter but it's not multiplayer dark matter you see what I'm saying? almost got a, a, a quad feed there but it was split but honestly man like people need to stop taking them cold war so serious like i understand that you know there are sweaty players out there that there are players that don't really know how to play the game right i i understand that but skill based matchmaking honestly shouldn't be the way it is right now you know what i'm saying it should be toned back, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, the skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is probably a good 9.5. I'm not even going to cap to you guys. It should be scaled down to, like, maybe like an 8, maybe like a 7.5, a maybe. We should not have to get home from work, Treyarch, Activision, you know? After a long day of work and get on the game and literally sweat our booty cheeks off. That should not have to happen. Call of Duty is a casual first person shooter, first of all. But it's turned into this sweaty, you know, oh, I gotta drop like 100 kills every match for a G2 sponsor. Like, oh, I'm trying to be like right away and chain feeds and, you know, Korean Savage. Like, come on, bro. Like, why do y'all wanna be like those guys? Those guys, I mean, you know, I don't know none of them personally, but come on, man. Being sweaty 100% of the time in Call of Duty is just not fun. Especially for the players like me who, you know, like I said, I had fun this gameplay right here. This was a really fun gameplay. And, uh, I, I was having fun. I was just hopping around with my MP5, uh, just you know, drop shot people, you know, uh, tubing people across the map. Stray funds doing work, but honestly, I, I really had fun this match. Every single Cold War game could be like this right here. Cold War would be a whole lot more uh, better of a game, but it's not. It's not. Cold War is one of the more sweatiest Call of Duties I've ever played, other than Modern Campfire, that is. But, um, yeah, I guess just kind of the way I wanted to go with this gameplay, don't take Cold War so serious. I mean, just a game, and uh, just have fun with it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
There you go. Just have fun with the game. Don't treat it like it's a fifty thousand dollar COD tournament. And I guarantee you, you will enjoy this game a whole lot more. But regardless of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, Thirty-eight and ten using the M72 and the uh, MP5 class setup. If you guys, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the class setup. Uh, it's a variant in the battle pass it's the roman opulence variant or something like that honestly it's a really dope looking mastercraft uh it's honestly one of the more dopest mastercrafts that they have in the game so you get it at tier uh what was it tier what tier was it in the battle pass tier tier 75 is when you get it so uh or is it 76 i don't know but yeah you get it at uh this tier right here and basically it has uh the muzzle brake 9 on it it's got a tiger team spotlight it's got a diamondback reflex uh no stock on it and then it's got a uh serpent grip but basically what i essentially done with it was i i took the uh, the Diamondback Reflex off of it, and I put a Microflex LED on it just because it looks a whole lot better in my opinion. I honestly kept the muzzle brake on there to keep the recoil down. Uh, I mean, you could throw an agency suppressor on there, but it's going to knock down that damage range some, and I didn't want to change none of that. Um, so there you go. Uh, as far as the underbarrel, I have the Bruiser Grip on here. It's going to move a whole lot faster. Uh, personally, I mean, you could put, you know, maybe like... The field agent grip on there would be pretty good, uh, but, you know, I just kept the bruiser grip on there. I have a 40-round drum on here. Uh, you know, if you want to feel fancy, you can go with the 40-round speed mag, but don't mess around with that aim down sights time because that's what makes this uh, specific class setup pretty good. And then the handle I have on there helps with the aim down sights time. Yeah, it nerfs the sprint to fire speed, but whatever. If you have uh, aim down sights, you know, if you have your gun aimed down sights, you're going to be really good. But that's basically the class setup that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all did, y'all drop a like, y'all subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that way you don't miss a video when I upload. Like I said, man, don't be out here taking this game serious like it's, you know, like you're playing for a $50,000 damn COD tournament. Because you're not. It's just COD, right? It's just Call of Duty, right? But other than that, y'all stay motivated, stay dedicated, always have that mama mentality, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace out. Tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.